Man, don't listen to these old niggas trying to tell you what to do. That's that's not what to do, bro. That's what be fucking niggas up. You feel me? You got to keep doing what the fuck you want to do, bro. Like, just the key to this shit, man, stay yourself, bro. Like, stay doing what you doing. Don't let these labels and these old ass niggas fuck you up. Because niggas be tweaking. Don't follow the trends either. I be seeing a lot of niggas like... A lot of niggas, just because one thing popping, like, you know how that how that shit popping right now with Lil Xan and all them type niggas, and you feel me, with the face tats and drugs, that trying to get on quick copying and nigga shit don't work. Do you. The new wave, I just feel like old niggas, like, it's times that's changing, bro. Like, even, like, like think about it like this. Like Tupac and them type of niggas and Easy e and them, they wasn't making music like 50 Cent and them. You feel me? Like I feel like every generation changes. You feel me? Like the next generation from now ain't gonna make music like us. They probably gonna say our shit trash or like we gonna say that shit trash. So I just feel like you feel me? When your time is over, just chill. Let the new niggas come. All that mumble rapping and new rapping and new rappers and SoundCloud rappers and shit. That's just that old nigga shit, bro. Like. They just be mad because they shit be washed up. Nobody listen to old nigga music no more besides old niggas. Like that wave is done. It's really about young niggas right now. Honestly, nowadays, I don't know because the SoundCloud niggas is getting on. So I don't know what a SoundCloud rapper is no more. You feel me? The SoundCloud niggas is getting the checks. <laughs> the SoundCloud niggas. I guess SoundCloud niggas are niggas that are just making money off the internet. It's really no industry. Like, no industry shit, no radio play, no shit like that. XX, is he a SoundCloud rapper? He going crazy. Trippy Red, going crazy. Niggas like that going crazy, so I don't know. I don't know what a SoundCloud rapper is no more. That shit took over, SoundCloud took over. <laughs> yeah, I was like 17. I had moved to Georgia. I was, my mom was staying up there, bro. I had moved my mom up out there to Georgia. She was living in this place called Marietta, so I had moved. I had met this nigga um, <laughs> on some weird shit. He was walking and he just had on some like some shit that I like. I like clothes, you feel me? I forgot what he had on, and we stopped and talked. And he told me he went to KSU. It wasn't too far from where he was at, so he was like, "Yeah, come smoke with me and shit." I I just moved out here, bro. So I had came to smoke with him and shit at his apartment in KSU, the college. And this nigga had, was making songs with Yachty. This is like 2013, 2014. He was making songs with Yachty. And I was like, this shit hard. Like, this shit hard, but we was young as fuck. This is like, yeah, back then. I'm like, this shit dumb hard. So I had hit the nigga Yachty up on Twitter. Like, I'm like, what's his Twitter? He, he hard. This is before I even made a song yet or nothing. The next day, like, uh, like the next day I had made this song called Cushbag. This is my first song I ever made. And I sent it to Yachty, like, yo, check this shit out, bro. I'm fucking with your shit. This nigga will play me your shit. And he like, all right. And he and he, he listened to it, and he wrote me back, like, hey, this shit hard as fuck, bro. I'm fucking with you. <laughs> right? So he came to uh, he came to, to the apartment at KSU and shit. That's how we linked up and shit. And then, yeah, ever since then, bro, like, before the selling team shit and all that, like, we was just... Feel me? Just rapping together and shit. We really started that shit together. Little NAZ chain and shit. But yeah, it's never amount to zero. That was our first shit, like, before he, like, got on and shit. Like, he put that selling team shit together. So before, it was just NAZ. So hell yeah, me and bro been rocking out. My first beat I made, like, 2014, but it was dumb, dumb, dumb trash. So I never did it again. And then, like, 2016, like, I linked up with my homie out back in Atlanta named Bangs. And he was just teaching me like shit. Like he was just helping me um, with, with FL and shit. And like he really the one who like started helping me make beats. And I don't even be giving my beats out. Like the only niggas that rapped on my beats was like Sosa and Rich Kid, Yachty and Duop Kane. Like for they self. Duop Kane for they self, but yeah. I'll be like making a beat and I just come up with something in my head to be going with the beat. And then that's just how I make the song and the beat really right there, you feel me? Since I was a little nigga, like 10th grade, when I found out about, out about Sosa, so I've been listening to bro for a minute. So when we was in the studio one day, um, I had made this, you know, I make my own beats and shit. So I had made this beat, and you feel me, my beats be sounding similar to the ones Sosa be making. 
So I made this beat and um, I wanted this nigga Yachty to get on the song because it was a singy type song. You know, that's Yachty shit back then. He was doing his little singing shit. So I told Yachty to get on the song. He like, bro, this shit really hard, bro. I think I could, uh, I'm going to hit up Sosa and see if he fuck with this shit. So bro hit him up and he sent this shit like, yo, listen to this. Sosa like, yo, this nigga tweaking. He sound like the old me. I'm finna, and he sent it back like 15 minutes. Like I said, like, man. Chief Keith, you feel me? He had inspiration and shit. Like, yeah, like rappers don't be giving credit, bro. They be like, I don't know. But Sosa influenced this whole generation, bro. You feel me? Like this whole shit going on right now. That nigga Sosa make that shit up. Like, he was the first young nigga, you feel me? Like making them videos in the in the uh crib and shit, no budget and shit like that, you feel me? So, nigga, he really is really the like a big influencer. Like I know like every nigga that's 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 going right now, popping right now is off the social, you feel me? You can hear everybody music. <laughs> dropping Flesh Music 2 and uh, I've been waiting for my fans. I've been telling my fans like uh, I'm coming out. Flesh Music 1, they love that shit. That shit went crazy. Uh, it was my first project. So I'm coming out with Flesh Music 2. I'm taking a little while to put together. Flesh Music 1 came out in April so I'm giving them a little bridge to like uh, um, go over till I put out Flesh Music 2. You know how niggas like uh, Wayne like um, Sorry for the Wait. I'm coming out with Sorry for the Flex and uh, yeah, it's just a little tape to hold, a little EP to hold over my fans to, uh, you know, Flex Music 2 come out. Sorry for the flex. Because I do all my flex school, like, flex music shit, flex school, flex music. Those are my series and my shit. Like, yeah. It ain't too lyrical. I really ain't on, like, on no J. Cole type shit or none of that type of shit. Really straight off the dome with my shit. Uh, you feel me? You just flexing up. Like, you feel me? Feel good music. Riding the car music. You flex it with your niggas. Flex on bitches. All that type of shit. My new rap style, like, I'm really, cause niggas was telling me like, I be, a lot of niggas was telling me like, yo, you lazy on the song, you feel me? And I ain't like that, so I wanted to show niggas. Cause it's not really lyrical, it's really just my cadence to rap, I'm rapping faster, you feel me? It's just a different flow I'm trying to use. But yeah, my new shit is just, it's different, bro. I'm tired of telling niggas, t niggas telling me, my, my non-fans telling me that I can't rap, so I'm showing some different shit.